L6TLU with you with another uh, trick of the trade for Johnson transmitters. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace that crummy boing boing meter that comes with the Johnson Challenger with a very nice original Johnson meter, a Simpson type, that operates smooth. Take a look. Well, here's a new installed meter. Okay, It is a EF Johnson meter. Now this meter actually came from a Johnson mobile transmitter. Now if we go to tune, you know, I'm in the grid position. And of course in plate it's going to operate too, I'll show you that in a minute. But to, to install this meter, you do have to round out the hole a little bit after you remove the stock meter. And this one, as you can see, has a blue backlit LED, which is really slick. Let me take you around the back. So here is the back of the meter. Now the mobile transmitter had a hole for a GE47 lamp. So I simply glued in a 10 millimeter LED. And the wiring comes down here through the chassis. Let me show you bottom side what we got down there. So here is the uh, power supply for the LED. There's a little terminal board here. We've got a four bridge rectifier hooked across the filament power of the uh, preamp tube, the 12AX7. That just simply goes up here through a 470 ohm resistor and feeds the LED. I did make sure to use shielded wire and then a little bit of heat shrink there and there's where the wires enter for the LED. After installing your new meter you're going to need to replace the shunts. Here's your plate shunt right here. That uh, resistor R22 was originally a 15 ohm and now it's going to be a 0.3 ohm. <clears throat> this one over here was your grid resistor, which was R11. It was 1300 ohms, and now it's a 20 ohm. You have to replace those, or your new meter will not read correctly. Now, one thing I do need to point out is that the grid scale is stock, which was 0 to 10 mils. However, the mobile meter went from 0 to 200 mils for the plate current and I needed double that. So I rescaled this meter. So now it's zero to 400. And yeah, that's some of my crafty artwork there, but it looks pretty good, does a job. Well, here she is in action. All right, we're going into CW. Tune it. And here we go. Nice and smooth. So there you have it. Another fine modification by N6TLU. Some people wouldn't like that. They don't think it's the purest thing to do. But I like the transmitter to be operational. And I don't like a meter that slams back and forth. So hope you enjoyed it.